All right, guys, just rolled in with uh, the latest little project we're gonna try to fix up. Uh, I got that retaining wall project I've been working on, and I thought a cement mixer would come in super handy. Had a friend who had one sitting around. Just needs a couple things repaired on it. Said I could have it. So, loaded it up, hauled it to the house. We'll get it off this trailer. Get this rig unhooked. And uh, see if we can get it repaired. Got our cross strapped. See that? Learned that on Ice Road Truckers. Pretty fancy stuff. All right, catch up with you in a minute. So while I get this drug around back to where I'm going to work on it, a couple shout outs for two new subscribers, Dan Man and SOT Metalworks. Appreciate you guys subscribing and hitting that button. I'm glad you're tagging along for these adventures. Okay, so one of two things, super simple, there's a sprocket that goes right here, just has to slide over the end, I do have to take the drum off to get that sprocket on, just take this bolt out right here, and then as a byproduct of that sprocket falling off, he had some concrete mixing in there when it fell off, so we've got some concrete built up on the inside, need to get that broken off there, it's not too bad, it's something I need to do for sure. I use kind of an unorthodox method to do that, so stick around to the end of the video to see the technique I use. A little ridiculous. Alrighty, so we're just going to take this one bolt out in the back. It's all that holds that drum on. I don't know what size that is. I just used a pair of channel locks to take that off. Pro tip, don't take it off like this. I would flip it up the other way so the drum doesn't fall off and the bolt comes out. Okay, got back from the hardware store. We'll call it a hardware store. Here's the gear that goes on there. There's where the keyway goes, 3 16 keyway. It's half inch long. They only had one inch, so just got one in. Cut it in half, simple math. Here's the screw that goes in. I will put a picture of this screw up in this video so you know what size it is. So, anyway, we're gonna get this thing set up real quick. All right, so just spin this thing around until your little notches line up, slide your keyway in. It didn't take a lot of force, it slid in pretty easy. And I just had a generic washer laying around the shop. So here's a picture of the uh, screw. One thing about it, the one I got was too long, so I ended up having to cut it down uh, probably about half length. So keep that in mind. It's the right diameter, it's the right thread count and all that stuff. It's just a little bit too long. Snug that up. Flip the switch and see if she works. So at this point, we're ready to set the drum back on. I'm gonna go ahead and take my own advice, flip this back over so that gravity does the work for me. It holds the drum in place while I put this bolt in. So you'll notice I have switched work attire. I am modeling the ever comfortable sweat short if you do not own a pair of sweat shorts, I highly recommend it. They are very simple to create. You simply take sweat pant, that is the one where the leg is full length, and you just cut the bottom half of the leg off and you have sweat shorts. It's gonna change your life forever. If you learn nothing from this video, learn that sweat shorts are the way to go. So we're just gonna slide this bolt back in, snug it up with the channel locks, then we'll flip switch and see what we got.
Okay, notice my reaction there. I'm always shocked when things work. So, seems to be good. Next step is going to be get that concrete cleaned out on the inside. It's really not too bad. I've got a hammer and chisel over in the barn. I don't feel like walking to the barn. What I do have right next to me are some broken chunks of concrete block. So I'm just going to throw those in there, turn it on, and see what happens. Well, that was terrible. I don't know, ridiculous. It was kind of dumb, but it did kind of work, so maybe it wasn't. There's a bunch of broken stuff there. There's a bunch that I dumped out on the ground. It's still got some in the back. I'll probably get that with the hammer chisel. Still got a little on the sides, but it's definitely better. And the best part is uh, we got it fixed. We got it running. Everything seems to be fine on it. So time to get some mortar, some sacrete. And time to get to part two on this retaining wall. See if we can get that sucker stacked. Now that we got this guy going. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.